Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1111. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewaddoc.com. Check out all of our full-length videos. That's where we house them. And we sure do appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and supporting the website. What we're talking about today is taking care of plantar fasciitis and a way to take care of it using uh, the Theragun. This is something that I've been privileged enough to play with for a little bit, and uh, I really have been treating my own um, kind of illnesses with them or conditions, you might say. One of the things that I get is right, f right foot uh, plantar fasciitis. I get some irritation in that plantar fascia from driving, uh, well, like driving off that leg, either playing racket sports or uh, or golfing sports or turning to pivot during a sprint or something like that. So I'm going to show you how I treat um, my plantar fasciitis with this um, with this instrument, and uh, hopefully you guys get some uh, relief from it as well. Cool. All right. So here we go. So when we're looking at my right foot here, right. Um, Typically, where plantar fasciitis occurs or you get the, the, the irritation is right in this area right here, right? They call it the, the medial posterior area of the foot, right? So medial being the inside and posterior being towards the back of the foot, right? So this area, the reason why this is a hot spot is because this is where the plantar fascia, the thick fibrous connective tissue, uh, kind of seats into this area of the bone that we call the calcane calcaneus, right? And then what we don't necessarily realize, at least all of us, we don't realize is that um, those fascial connections go all the way out into the, the digits of the foot, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this and we're going to run this up the entire plantar fascia. So what you're going to notice is I'm going to come out and then come back, come out, and then come back, come out and then come back, right? But we're also gonna work on the fascial connections of the heel, right? Because this also will put some pressure onto that, um, the, well, those fibrous tissues of the plantar fascia. Because remember, the plantar fascia definitely connects into that Achilles tendon region, right? So I'm gonna basically take care of the entire bottom of the foot. This is how we're gonna do it. Start out with some light pressure here. So we turn the sucker on. Just some light pressure, and you're going to notice that what I do is I come back to the heel, out to the digit, back to the heel, out to the digit, back to the heel, out to the digit, heel, digit. And all I'm doing is each time coming back to that medial posterior area. And I'll do this for about one minute. And once I do that, I'm going to concentrate on that hot spot, right? And I'm just going to start making this circular formation, semi-circular formation, basically just uh, going around the real estate of that tissue. And you're going to notice uh, how I do this. It just comes up and around, up and around. Try to stay away from any bones. I don't want to be bouncing on the bones. I'm really just trying to get some of that vibration therapy into the tissue. All right, so here we got it. We have basically the way that we come up in this web-like fashion, mimic the, 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 uh, the anatomy of the plantar fascia, but then hit around the calcaneus and the tissue of the calcaneus as well. Make sure we take care of that, right? So, hope you guys like this. Questions, comments, please post them below. And until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.